everybody. Good evening. It's MC from NotJustScrapbooks.com. I'm MCCPLG on Blogspot and on YouTube. And uh, I'm coming to you with my uh, big book that I did called Moments. Um, and it's also made with a lot of the Pink Paisley Garden Collection and a lot of Prima Flowers. Uh, some of Marion Smith Bling, uh, Prima Paper, uh, Webster's Pages, uh, all sorts of uh, ribbon and uh, seam binding, some um, flowers from Zva, that's uh, ZVA. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. I thought I'd share it to, with you before I send it off to a friend of mine. So let's get started. Let me just move this down and it's never... I guess I, I'd have to have like a really expensive... camera... Tripod, I guess. I had a really good tripod and I broke it. Well, actually, I didn't break it. I lost the piece that you attach the camera to the tripod with, and I could just not find another one. So, this is the best that I have right now. So, anyway, this is what the book looks like. And uh, I'm going to try my very best to see stay in camera this time. I'm going to see if I can maybe raise this a little bit. There we go. And um, so here you have it. It's made with um, chipboard from Melissa Francis, and I painted all the edges in green. Uh, just Folk Art Bayberry, I think, is the name of the color that I used. And then I have some pretty bling, butterfly bling here, and a Prima lattice here. And I have one of Marin's little birds on one of Tim's pins right here. I don't know if you can see it here, maybe. See, it's right right here and then on the rings I've got a bunch of flowers and some ribbon and then I've got this really pretty um, swivel clasp on which I put um, beads that I hung together and smaller beads, and then I've got another one of Marin's pretty birds from uh, the Marin Smith trinket collection by Prima, and then I've got her little bird cage here. I like my birds to have gotten away <laughs> and flown free. So, and there you've got more flowers, and I usually put a little bit of crystal accents around the hole. And that way, it's not as likely to tear off the ring with use. And I've got a little bit of fiber here, too. So so that's the front. And I'm going to put it down now and see if I can work it from here. So there we go. And when you open it, I have... Um, some of the grunge boards and it's one of the swirls uh, one of uh, Tim Hole's die cuts and I uh, used some um, embossing powder in copper and I also used a little bit just a tiny bit in blue and in green and um, I don't know if you can see it let me see if I can bring it a little closer and that gives it that kind of shimmery, uh, you know, it's not just one color. And inside, I've got 
a bunch of tags. There you go. And this one is Prima. And all I did was I stamped it in the back with a butterfly and I just stamped, I mean inked the back. And I did the same thing with this one. I stamped the back and I inked it. And then this one is just a nice big tag. And um, I'll have to fix that somehow. Some of the hot glue got on here. And I put a flower and some seam binding on this one. And there's another Prima tag. And it just fits right back in here. And it doesn't fall out, which is kind of cool. And the whole idea. This keeps it all in here. In this side, what I did is I created a pocket. And I gave the pocket a little bit of dimension so that I could stuff some things in here. Including, believe it or not, some 6x6 six six paper. So, again... Prima, and then what I did is I put another piece of paper behind it and I just cut it out around the existing. And then there's a tag, and there's one of those pretty um, postcard looking things from the um, Once Upon a Springtime collection by Graphic 45. It matches pretty well. And then here you have uh, paper uh, from. Um, Webster's Pages. I'm saying um, um, um. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. If I were a really good public speaker, I wouldn't say um all the time, but I do. Eh. And this is just a piece of paper that I added some pink to, and then I stamped the butterfly. And on this side, I stamped a bunch of butterflies. And this all fits quite nicely in our pocket here. See how that's pretty easy. And then we'll go to the next page. And on this page, I've got some flower. Uh, again, that's Prima over here. And these are Prima. I think that's Zva. And Wild Orchid. And again, I put another one of the Tim Holtz Grunge Board Swirls that I actually bought from Jules. And uh, because I don't have that dye. And this is a trim that I cut up. And then we've got another Prima flower with uh, another, I believe this one is Prima Recollection sitting on top of it. I kind of store all my flowers together so it's a little difficult. And I've got a couple more tags here that fit right in here. And she could put a picture on here if she wanted to. And on this side, I actually left it fairly plain uh, in the sense that this, there's multiple layers of different kinds of paper on here. It's not all from one collection, or if it is, it's actually different parts of different papers. And I put some lace, and uh, I have another Prima, some Prima flowers from the Botanical, or is it um, Madeline collection? And I've got little leaves here from Prima and some and three roses. And then what I did here is I just tied a piece of seam binding that I uh, dyed with some of the Lindy Stamp Gang um, mist that I got. And uh, I don't have it handy. It came out a perfect color for this project though so I'm really happy with that. Okay on our next page and I'll put it down again so you can see both pages together and on this page I have again this is one of the little postcard uh, from uh, Once Upon a Springtime from Graphic 45. It actually doesn't come this way it's part of a big sheet of paper that I cut up and and on this side, all I did is I actually tied another piece of the uh, seam binding on the seam binding. 
so it looks like I knotted it on this side but it's only knotted on one side again I've got prima flowers here prima flower there and I added a little touch of this really tiny flower and I don't know it, I think I got it from a kit I bought so I'm not sure but I really wanted to fit it in there because I thought it would look prettier than just the rose as it was I like it and again more tags room for a picture here on the background and another some more prima and I guess I need to tie that down a little bit better it came loose and um, more tags on which you can either put pictures or uh, do some writing I'm a, as you know by now a big fan of journaling and this page again I left fairly plain I've got some pretty lace I believe that's Prima lace that I got from Marion Smith and um, more Prima flowers and uh, I believe this is Zva Creations and there's nothing this is like one sheet of paper on underneath that was just pretty the way it was I have a hard time putting stuff on pretty paper I really do okay and you can see again the two pages here and this side is plain with just a rose and again I used some of Lindy's damn gang, gang um, on that and uh, on this side again I've got a pocket and this is uh, Prima Bling the key here is Prima Bling and what I did here is I created again a pocket that actually opens up a little so it's got a little give and in this one again there's room for six by six paper which I think is really cool because it means that you can um, pretty much do a layout if you wanted to and this is Prima paper and again a Prima journaling tag on which I put on the back I just inked it and then stamped and another cute tag with some seam binding on it and another cute tag with some seam binding on it and then this nice big tag well it's not really a tag because it doesn't have uh, a hole in a ribbon in it and uh, anyway on this one what I did on the back is I really love the stamp I just got it and I um, embossed it so she still has room to write or put a picture and uh, I just think it's pretty so there you go so on the next page again on this page we have I let you see both and on this side there's nothing except for the two pieces of seam binding and you'll notice there's holes here and what I did is I punched holes and then I ran the seam binding so that it's not going to fall off and also it allows me to go to the other side and just go around and have the advantage of using seeing it the pretty seam binding on both sides on this side again we have a combination uh, the top part is from the butterfly collection the bottom part I believe is from Webster's pages this is from the uh, graphic 49 once upon a springtime and the bling is from Prima and the journaling spots in here are also the front is from Prima and on, in this case the back is Webster's pages and the front is Prima and now all that's left to show you is the back and I left the back as is because I love this butterfly it's gorgeous 
and it's been my butterfly month, I think. I've done butterfly tag swaps, butterfly inspired mini albums. It's just been that kind of month. And as you can see, here's my seam binding. And uh, it's just decorating the back without doing a whole lot. And again, this is what the side looks like. With the rings and the all the flowers and the ribbon and the pretty 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 birds and bird cage and so thank you very much for looking I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will take a look on my blog at the kits that I've put up there uh, they're obviously not as you know involved as everything I put in this book because it would cost you it would be far too expensive a kit to put together. Um, but it's still a really, really pretty kit at a really good price. And just for the record, I always add surprises to anything that I send out. So take a look, enjoy, and I really hope that you uh, liked my little book here called Moments. Thank you very much for looking. Bye-bye.